I'm an independent filmmaker, actor, director, <laughs> so much. <laughs> I always, always wanted to be a part of the entertainment industry. I worked, I did modeling probably in the last, the last year or so in the 90s. Quit that because it was too, in, too much politics behind it. So uh, probably about five years ago, I, uh, you know, when the movement came back here to try to promote films and big budget films, I started getting involved with that. You know, and then after that, then I, you know, I, I traveled around here and there, California, you know, Chicago and different different places. And I decided like, well, you know what? Us as black people, we, we really don't get an opportunity, you know, to do different things to try to get these lead man roles and all this and that. So I decided, well, I'd start my own production company. And once I started my own production company, started, you know, writing films, started just doing shorts, started, you know, going around the city, just doing anything I could just to try to gain a name for myself. I did a, a bunch of different hip hop projects, some music videos, some ciphers. You know, had a, we got five episodes of the cipher. Um, did uh, my first film, you know, we got caught up in some stuff called Lucky, and it was my actors started getting too big. So, they, so we still haven't completed that. I mean, we did, we got basically everything out, but we can't put it out because once actors get too big, they start to, uh, even you might sign a release form, but things change when people start getting in the ear, just talking and telling them different stuff, you know. So, we, we, we pretty much had to basically put that on the shelf until we work out all the red tight, all the red tape, excuse me. And then uh, I started a second project. I just wanted to do something simple, a little short film called Cataclysm, where we, we shot the whole film basically in, in a day. It was a, a, a zombie movie where uh, the, uh, the end of the world came and uh, North Korea and um, and Iraq got together and they dropped some kind of, you know, nuclear weapon on the United States and all these different stuff started to come about, you know. And then after that, I, you know, I got with a friend of mine who worked in, you know, all my different projects, even the short films, even just little skits. And we decided that we wanted to do something a little bigger. We wanted to do an action movie, you know, which the film I'm working on now, number one contender. You know, we, we, we're set to start filming, I believe, next week. You know, uh, it's an action movie about a, a guy whose brother get caught up in the Detroit under, underground with these Russian guys who, who basically, he, he's involved in everything, can't pay his debt, so they end up taking him and forcing him to fight for his life. I don't want to be a filmmaker where I sit and, and people basically typecast me or stereotype me because I'm black and they say, well, all you can make is hood movies. I'm not, I mean, yeah, I'm from the hood, I'm from Detroit all day, or whatever, but, you know, that's the problem with us, we lose, we lose our vision, we lose our imagination, that's why we get caught up and we only do what we see every day, instead of trying to step out and jump, and, and step out of our comfort zone and do something different, do something that we always, that we always wanted to do. When we go through and we try to search for locations, you know, people look at us like, are you serious? Like, no, nah, I don't really want your type of film. Like, what is my type of film? You haven't even heard the premise behind having my film yet and you're already telling me no. You know, but that, that type of stuff, the nose is motivation. You know, I keep going. I mean, and we've been in this thing now. I've, I've had my own production company for three years now. So, I mean, we're moving forward, we're getting it together, but it's, I mean, it's still a struggle every day by, you know, I keep, I hate to keep saying it, but because I'm black, you know, people look at me, like I say, put me in a box and say that I'm going, oh, all you, all you, is somebody going to end up dead? Is somebody, I mean, white people or whoever, different genres make films where it's a lot of violence. Every film I make will not be violent. I mean, today I might make this action film where it's martial arts, different forms of martial arts. But if this person makes it, then it's, you know, you, you, you praise it. But if I make it, it's something wrong with me, you know. Or, well, you, you selling out or this. I mean, I have different from, from all, you know, from, from people in the city, people in the hood, people here. They look at me a little differently, you know. But it's, it's fine. I'm not, I mean, me personally, I have to get in touch with who I am and decide that I'm going to do what I want to do. You know, I've worked the, the nine to five jobs, this, that, and the other. And at some point, you know, we need to start showing people that you got to live your dream. 
you know, you got to do what it is that you want to do, you know, because God gave us all ability, you know, to and an insight to know like, OK, well, let me step out and let me try what I want to try, whether it work or not. You I mean, at least you won't come back 10, 15 years down the road and say, well, I wish I would have did this. I wish I would have did that. You know, and that's how a lot of us, how, you know, what I deal with on a, on, a, on a daily basis where people look at me. Why do you want to do that? Because I chose to because I want to. You know, I mean, well, how you know it's going to work? I don't know if it's going to work or not, but why not try, you know, so.